The Dallas Cowboys in the last few days said the door is open for Tyron Smith to return to America's team. Yeah, the Cowboys had the door open, but the New York Jets had the wallet open. And in the end, that kind of matters, too. I'm Mike Fisher reporting for Frisco, home of the Dallas Cowboys. We really need to wait till all the final numbers are in because this thing got billed, as they often do, as a monster deal. It's a one-year contract. But uh, $20 million was the number that um, you know, the, the agent, the teams wanted to have out there. That's not the real number. Uh, Tyron Smith's uh, cap impact, obviously, is not going to be anywhere near that. The talk is it's going to be more like $6.5 million. Again, we'll wait and see. But whatever the number ends up being, the Dallas Cowboys obviously did not want to go there. For the Jets, uh, this is a gigantic win. There'll be a lot of people that talk about how Tyron Smith has an injury history, and he does at age 33, but last year, he played uh, all but four games, and he played at a literal all-pro level. 6'5", 318 pounds, and takes extraordinary care of his body. What the Cowboys did with him last year, we called it Tyron Wednesdays. He took a lot of time off during the course of the week, but because he's so well-prepared, physically and otherwise, he didn't need to practice on a Wednesday. And sometimes not on a Tuesday or a Thursday uh, or a Friday. And then he went out on Sunday and dominated. This is a future Hall of Fame player. When his career is done, five years after that, he will be in the Pro Football Hall of Fame in Canton. And sometime, maybe even before that, he'll be in the Ring of Honor back here in North Texas. But now he's heading to New York. This will be a little bit of a duck out of water. This is not... uh, Uh, Tyron Smith is not a New York kind of guy. That's for sure. In fact, he's very much a Jones family guy, which is what makes this so difficult for some of the people involved. For the Cowboys, the issue and the truth about Tyron is this is fine. This move is totally acceptable. As long as you find a way to have an offensive line that's at least as good as it was last year with Tyron, not to mention with Tyler Biotish at center, he's gone too. Cowboys don't have enough draft picks. Uh, to go fill all these spots that they're losing in free agency. And because of our blow it up theory, um, don't spend anything that you don't have to beyond 2024. Have the entire roster, if possible, outside of the handful of stars, be lame duck kind of guys, including the head coach and the coaching staff, and then maybe start over in 2025. Very dubious uh, to think that the Cowboys are going to put together an offensive line in 2024 that's as good as the one that Tyron Smith starred in in 2023. Tyron Smith leaving the Cowboys where the door was open and going to the Jets where the wallet was more open. In Frisco with the Cowboys. Fish out.